barbecue, chicken, barbecue, ribs, barbecue, 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 potatoes with barbecued bacon on top, and a barbecued iced tea drink. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually full. <laughs> uh, and no, I'm not dead. I can't die. I can't. Anyway, what's up, you guys? This is Great Teacher Man here, bringing you all back to Let's Play. Actually, no, this is a new Let's Play, so shut up! Bringing you all to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land for the Game Boy. Go! Okay, in this Kirby game, you cannot copy enemies and you cannot copy their abilities. Well, actually, that that's the same thing. Whatever. And in here, you'll have two medicine bottles, but I don't need them, so whatever. They restore, I believe, two units of life, and no, there is no way you, you, you can obtain more life. There is no, you know, like, fucking fountain of youth, which is in Florida, which is where I live. I guess I will forever be youthful, I don't know. It says, on the main menu screen, this game was released in 1992. And no, it wasn't the first Kirby game. That goes to Kirby's adventure for the NES. But yeah, 1992, that was a fantastic year. You wanna know why? Cause that's the year I was born! But anyway. Oh, and look, it's Poppy Brothers Sr. Which is weird, cause there's one, so... Brothers? Eh. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys in the face and uh, tell you all that I'm making this because of the Kirby 25th anniversary- oh, wait, wait, bleh, 20th anniversary shit going on with that game that came out for the Wii, or is coming out for the Wii, I don't know. I know it does have the six most popular games in the series on it, including this one, and that's cool. But, um, I just wanna say... <sighs> I've been planning on doing this for a little while, and not because of the 20th anniversary thing, but... Hey, you know, that shit happens to be going out at the same time, so why not? Yeah, 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 I, I made this for the 20th anniversary, I planned. And, uh, well, whatever. So anyway, I'm just slowly but surely climbing my way through this tree on my way to Wispy Woods, because, oh, come on. As if you didn't expect him to be the first boss. The only Kirby game I could think of where he was not the first boss was Kirby's Amazing Mirror. Or Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, my bad. But you know what's funny as hell? In that game, <laughs> you have a boss that's just friggin' like Wispy Woods, except it's made out of stone, so whatever. And now, when you go this way and when you go this way, and yeah, that is the fastest I can run. I can't, like, fucking sprint or some shit. This isn't Call of Duty, because Call of Duty invented sprinting in video games. But yeah, I, I just want to show you, those ways offer nothing to you. Nothing of any relative interest to you. This game is fairly short. Well, it's, it's a Game Boy game, so that, that's why. Although Link's Awakening was- oh, why the- what the- what the- what, why did I spit it that way? I don't spit that way, come on. I'm... heterospitual. No, th this game I will be completing in, like, two episodes? Uh, that's even cutting it. I don't know. And this boss is fairly easy. You should... Uh, a, a sane person should easily be able to defeat him in two rounds. Of course, it took me, like, three, because I'm an idiot! And don't ask me how Kirby cloned himself, I... Uh, I don't know either. Just roll with it. Castle! <laughs> because it's LOL, get it? <laughs> yeah, laughing out loud. Or out loud, whatever you want to call it. And that's a broom hatter, and uh, he just tried committing suicide but lived. Haha. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I killed him for him, though, because I'm, I'm a nice guy, you know. I will. Aww. What? I meant to eat that. Fuck. Yeah, if you. Oh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess you have to puff up in order to spit it out. I do. Wow. That, that was skinky. No, but actually, that was a mic that I spray- Hey, that's my name! That was a mic that I just absorbed within my very soul and being and form. And, uh, what happens when you, uh, use it, obviously? You kill everything on the screen! And that bomb I just spat out goes through multiple enemies, and it will- it will not stop when it hits one. And- Ah, shit! It's the mask enemies from Doki Doki Paniku! You know, Super Mario Bros. 2 in America? Yeah. The one where you can pick up radishes and shit. I love that game. I don't care what anyone says. Like, I, I, know, I know a lot of people dislike Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, in North America, because it's, it's odd, like, it's nothing like any other Mario game. But you know what? It was only the second traditional Super Mario Bros. game in the series. I mean, it didn't really establish any kind of genre, or not genre, actually, it didn't, it didn't establish any tradition yet. You can't establish a tradition if it's only the second game in the series. I mean, maybe they were just trying shit out, you never know. Just look at Zelda 2. The Adventure of Link, or whatever the fuck it's called. That game is awesome, I think. It's hard as shit, yeah, not quite on Ninja Gaiden level, but it's it's, it's it's challenging in a nice way. Like, if you know what the fuck you're doing, it ain't too bad. Like, you know what I mean? And that game, I mean, shit. 
it may as well be a completely different genre than uh, the first Zelda game. But like I said, it was only the second game in the series, so pff, whatever. No established tradition yet. Anyway, the reason why I told you all I'm not dead in the beginning of this episode is because, I, eh, yeah, I've been absent quite a bit lately. I mean, there's been quite the gaps in time between my episodes lately. Like, my, my Yoshi's Island, I'm gonna say my Super Yoshi Island Brothers. <laughs> my, my, oh, that was close. My Yoshi's Island finale, for example. It took a little while to make and release, but that was mostly due to technical issues. But stuff has been happening in my life uh, lately that I've, I, I, I guess you could say I've been kind of occupied, and here's... Ha ha ha, and <laughs> ah, shit! Lo 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 and la la la, that's what I wanted to say. But yeah, you'll- That's not the way to do it, damn you! You st- <sighs> You stoop. What? Wow. Okay, I'm try what I'm trying to do here is- Okay, well I killed, uh, lo lo lo, and la 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 is, is the only- is She is the sole survivor, and the reason you can tell it's a girl, <laughs> la la la, is because of that little ribbon in her hair. Yep, they took the Pac-Man approach. It's a female because there's a ribbon in her hair! What hair? Shit. I missed. I don't even know what those things are that they're pushing. Like, are they fucking factory workers? Are they ice cubes? Are they, like, boxes full of all the corpses of all the people they've murdered and raped? I don't even know. And Kirby just went and cloned himself again. Jesus Christ. Float Islands! What the fuck did he just fish out of the water? Jeez, dude. Don't fish in the canals. That's dirty. Jeez. I mean, God. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe you can find some good old catfish in the canals. I don't know. We're already on to the third world. Like I said, oh shit. Yeah, be sure to grab those bombs before they blow, because when they blow, you'll get hit. And when you get hit, you'll take damage. And when you take damage, whatever. Another thing I wanted to discuss... Yeah, th this is a, there is a bit of a score system in this game, as, as you'll notice. Yeah, uh, you know, S, C, above... Ah, oh, shit. My, above my life. And what I... I, although I don't have a life, so I don't know why. But, uh, squids flying through the air? What the f- That score pretty much- I, it, it's, it's not really there for a real reason. Oh yeah, I love that. It's so satisfying to kill enemies with a mic! Because that's my name. It's like I just grab my name in a fighting game and just pummel it- pummel- pummel- it, pummel people with it. Yeah. You know, kind of like the special ability of that one guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Deadpool? From that one game, uh, Ultimate Monkeys vs. Captain 3. He just rips his health bar right off the screen. Not his name, but his health bar. He just beats the shit out of people with it. When you fly up here, stick to the right because of that. Yeah, that's, that's why. You don't want to get any anybody's nuts in your face. That would be, uh, fairly concernable. Okay, what the, that, is that even a word? Whatever. So, in case you haven't noticed, yeah! This whole game so far seems to be somewhat eh, loosely based off of the very first, uh, sub-game of Kirby Superstar. My favorite Kirby game. Well, you know, Kirby's Return to Dream Land is also fairly we uh, well made. I love I fairly well made. Bullshit! That game is very well made. Shut up! That game is awesome. And unlike uh, you know, Kirby Superstar, we do not have to fight a uh, uh, Chili the Frost Man or what the fuck they're called, Frosty. I don't know, Wendy's. I don't know. Uh, you're not gonna fight one of those guys down there. You fought a Gordo instead. Although, really, you don't fight Gordo, so that was kind of a, uh, a half-assed statement. And don't you just love these little, uh, what are they called? Kabukis, I think they're called? They just fucking teleport all over the place. Just like in any other Kirby game. Yeah. Keep going along here. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, I don't think I really told you guys about it in the second world, but this thing right here that I picked up in that world, if you recall, once this thing stops shooting, God! Spicy Curry! Yeah, you probably uh, know this shit very well from Brawl. I love this ability, it's so badass, and the theme is pretty addictable. Addictable? Too. I don't know, it's, it's, it's just fun. You can annihilate everything in the world with it. So just go down here. I like how when it wears off, when you go in water, uh, I like I like that, it makes sense. But what I don't think makes sense is the fact that it sounds like you got hit when you get rid of it by doing that. Like, did you hear that sound effect just now? You go in the water with spicy curry in your ass, or I'm sorry, your mouth. I don't know, Kirby has an ass for a mouth. When you go in the water, it's like, <laughs> like you just got hurt. <laughs> oh, this is cool, watch this. This is how we get to the other part of this world. <laughs> we go into a, a whale's blowhole, and he blows us out of him. Pretty much fight your way this way, and by fight your way, I mean, like, annihilate two enemies with these. Whatever. And yeah, I don't really know what this thing is called, but I'm gonna blow it up. <laughs> And if I blow it up, I mean I'm going to have sex with it. But anyway, 
Yeah, it's pretty much shooting these cannonballs all over the place, no big deal. Sometimes he'll, he'll like, freak out, have a seizure, and, like, hurtle towards you like that. Eh. Nothing to really, uh... Oh, how'd I put it earlier? Nothing too concernable. Yeah, there we go. Not sure if you can deal damage to it by shooting the cannon itself, but, uh, that's the smallest part of the enemy in general, so it's not like you're gonna be in a, in a, in a bit of a pickle over that, so to speak. Bubbly assholes! Stage 4. What the hell's going on in that cloud? Oh my god, it was an orgy. Okay, so we're gonna get our ass across this stage. This is where things start to pick up a wee bit in difficulty. What the hell did I just eat? What did I just eat and spit out? What was that? That was the derpiest fucking rocket or shuttle I've ever seen in my life! The reason why I say this stage starts to pick up in difficulty a little bit. Yeah, there it is again! What the hell? Man. Yeah, this stage is. What the fuck did I just blow up? Scrappy! Ah! Scrap! Ah! Scrap! Oh, shit, I better approach this with delicacy. Delicacy. Delic. <laughs> Delicately. <laughs> what the hell are these things? Oh god. Ugh. They're like the. They're like devil heads? I don't. Yeah, the reason why the stage. <laughs> Let's just finish your damn sentence, dude. Let's just get on with it. It's pretty obvious why it's the. I love para. para. parasols. That is my favorite ability. Too bad I can't fucking use any of this game! Uh, obviously, in that first part of the stage, ah! You, if you fell while you're trying to eat something, that'll be, uh, that'll be. Eh, it, it, it happens, you know. And watch. God, that's so annoying. Yeah, sorry if there are little spurts of lag here and there. Spurts, yeah. That's the. Uh, uh, it's because, you know, the Game Boy obviously couldn't handle all this shit attacking you all at once. Uh, just, 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 uh, just imagine how it is in extra game mode. And if you're wondering what the hell that is, and you probably are because I'm sure you haven't played this game, and if you have, then you're cool. Or warm, I don't know. Once you beat the game, you get a code of sorts. Kind of like the hardest difficulty in Tetris Attack, we fucking end or any other NES game I can think of, really. No, well, not really. Derpy Rocket! There he is again! Oh, come on! He should have been a recurring enemy in the series. Come on, that's just too awesome to miss out on. Come on, come on, HAL Laboratory! You could have introduced that enemy to newer generations, you silly little fucks. But, um, what was I even talking about? Well, you know what? It is great t-shirt man, uh, standard at this point for me to forget what I'm talking about, so whatever. So let's grab some medicine, ow. Take, take some damage. That's okay, though. They, they must have thought you were gonna take the ow. Clouds with sunglasses are wrecking my shit! They must have thought you were gonna be taking hits in this area because they put a Maxim Tomato in there. Yeah, Maxim Tomatoes, those are obviously, if, if, I don't even know how you can't know this, to be honest with you. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it even applies in Super Smash Brothers, really. Yeah, you will be fucking, like, you'll be set when you find a Maxim Tomato. You restore all your life. And this is like Cracko before he, before he, uh, or Crackho, I'm sorry, before he transforms, and I'm approaching this all wrong. See, this guy is actually fairly simple. All you gotta do is just wait for him to shit a little guy out, and then grab the little guy, and then shit him out at him, so that you can shit on him with shit that he shat out at you because you're shit to him. Get it? I don't. So, we're gonna take a star because we're a superstar, and we're gonna, I guess... Go to the heavens above? Pierce them? I don't know. Yeah, you know, that's another standard of mine. To, ma to make a good and log on reference in every fucking video I make. Whatever. <laughs> so pretty much just drill your way through here. There it is again. And- Oh! Maxim Tomato! Fuck those medicines. I have a tomato. They're Ow! Okay. It's pretty much just- God, I'm sounding really obnoxious this episode. <laughs> just pretty much fly your way across those spikes. And uh, if you remember in Superstar, yeah, if you fell down here, there'd be something down here in a little platform to catch your fall, as long as you got away from it in time, because it would disappear after a second. But it's not there this time. Eh. Level design was a wee bit better in the uh, in that game, obviously. And like I said, this game only really applies to the first sub-game of that one. The uh, fucking... Oh, I forget what it's called. It's, it's the first one that you ever do in that game. Uh, whatever. It's like the one difficulty one. Yeah, you know what I mean. Whatever. And so, right up here, if you if you stick to the right side of the screen, you will never get hit. Now watch me get hit. Huh? Huh? See? I, I did not even doubt myself at all. See, you never get hit. Now, that is the door that leads to Krakho, the boss. But before we do that, let's fly into this moon, just like in Superstar. Like, you know you know how if you fly up past the uh, falling bear thing, you'll uh, go into a secret, secret door? Yeah. Well, pretty much that. The exact same in this. That's very interesting, how they kind of took the level design from this game and kind of 
pasted it in a wee bit in that one, but that's alright, you know, I, just, I love HAL, they're, they're fucking awesome. HAL has made a lot of great games, I mean, just, just think about it, HAL was very powerful back in the day, especially Rareware, of course, everybody, like, when you think of an N64, you will think of at least one of Rareware's games, or at the very least, you'll be thinking of Star Fox 64, or Ocarina of Time, but for the most part, you will ah, you will most likely be thinking of a Rareware game, because, let, let's just face it, Rare made the N64 in bitch, with all kinds of genres on it. And you know, I'm surprised Krakow here charged at me just now. I didn't know he could do that in this game, considering he's never fucking done it to me before, at all, in all my playthroughs of this particular game, so that's... Of course he would do that in my LP, but whatever. Caught me off guard there. <laughs> he knows how to push my buttons in all the wrong ways. So let's just do our little, you know, get jiggy with it and just, da -da -da -da, just yeah, get it over with. Dance to the twist, you fuck. 